Good evening. So last week we spoke about how to go about transforming our body, speech, and mind into the essence, of, or transforming the essence of our body, speech, and mind into that of a Buddha's body, speech, and mind. And the way to do so is through practicing the completion, the generation stage, and the completion stage. Then we are all born into this life and the point will come when we die, when we part from this life. When we die, we immediately will go into the intermediate state. So these three states are what one needs to, through practice, through practicing the, the generation and completion stages, transform into the three bodies of the Buddha. So one transforms uh, 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 death, intermediate state, and rebirth into the three bodies of the Buddha, of a Buddha, through the practice of the generation and completion stages. <coughs> Nelangan <laughs> Long then 
Dine gom zewe jela ane, nahan jike di ta chugui longu dine bha jine, jela chugui napa, chugui ki ngwa kyusun asipi mepa gom. Dine ki ondu jine en jike che jike ya lala chego puya ta dine ki sunam saya la soba. Ondu jine gom ya dile, di kiwi rimpa si kirim gom se ya di dine si sungol ta dordu rao che shiwa dile. Cheza this is that the Quaterim Gomna Ducine, the Ducine Rahuarachin. Tonight, we'll in a moment come to the next verse, the 111th, which presents uh, briefly the completion stage. The completion stage follows the generation stage, which is what we looked at last week in, in the 110th verse. So there's s- specific trainings that one engages in in accordance with varying tantras. So if we take as a, a, a general illustration the generation stage training in Guya Samaja, there one first uh, takes blessings from one's lama, meditates on emptiness, and from within the realization of emptiness, one meditates, on the, uh, meditates the mandala, gener- generating at the level of imagination the mandala of the deity. And then having generated the uh, mandala, maybe here the English, the, of the celestial mansion of the deity, one then, uh, on the level of imagination, arises in this uh, Sambhokakaya within the um, mandala, and thereafter, still remaining on the level of imagination, uh, arises as the Namanakaya. And then engaging in varying um, activities to accumulate merit, such as making offerings. These are included within the uh, generation stage. And that is Kirim Ki Dodu Roch Tineshe. Dodu Roch Madoy Omada Dile Anche Kya Tine Ma Rimba Roch Tine Mangbo Yorta Di Tishe Tine Ma Rimba Roch Tine Ma Rimba Roch Mangbo Yungko Re Da Tishe Na 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 Da So these stages I'm just mentioning in brief because there are actually many more than these, but here uh, we're just uh, looking at this as an overview. So in terms of the Gyo Samaja, there's first the blessings from one's Lama, reflecting on emptiness, then meditating the mandala, uh, the celestial mansion, and within that one uh, arises as the deity and then engages in various meritorious actions such as making offerings. And this is all done on the level of imagination. I come to the 111th verse. So I'll read the older translation which everyone has and those who have the blue book, um, it, the newer translation is um, slightly better. But I'll read the older translation because that's what I have before me. Please bless me to realize in this life the path uniting the clear light and illusory body, arising from placing your feet, my protector, in the central channel at the very center of my eight-petaled heart. Sundan de la Rimba Truk Soya Danga Soya Dan, and she Soya Dinish Gore or Chi Sundan Mirabesa. That is Rimba Druk Rubishev and Sundan Shubain, and the Dambo Zoran Yamleja by the Dambo Dile, and the Luen says in Yamleja, Tin Luen, Nave, and Luen, Nave, Semen, Gulu, Vesa, Sonjuk said it, Druk Yamleja, that good. 
Mesin batuk sedi di sini. Di sini zorin yang mana cila, di duduk di rumah yang cila. Dan aku sumpah ini ada, si sumpah ini ada, duduk yang mana cila, di bawah di duduk di rumah. In the verse we looked at last week, we referred to as um, the the first stage. In that first stage, yoga. In that refers to the generation stage. Here now, we, in this verse, we have a brief overview of the second stage, which is that of the completion stage. And the completion stage can be presented in um, four levels, five levels, or six levels. It's the same stages, but the pres presentation can be, um, the enumeration can be uh, condensed. So if, we, uh, if I repeat the, or present the, the six stages, they will be first that of physical isolation, secondly, uh, speech isolation or verbal isolation, thirdly, uh, mental isolation, fourthly, the illusory body, fifth, the clear light, mind of clear light, and sixth, that of union. So again, physical isolation, verbal isolation, mental isolation, uh, the illusory body, clear light, and union. Ah, that dinner, that the Luen, the Nguyen, say, dinner, and Gulu said it later, do then Gulu said you, then I had to give Luen, Nguyen, and Cup Song, and to give Kuman and to go man. That Gulu said later, the Cabla, Gushi, then I had to come, Jabney, say, Gimu Kumish, and when I can do that, that I can do so poor of your water. Then I had to do Sino Com, Jabche, the Nigo Combalatine, Gulu said, Tobio do. ngazukumene だでがずかしようぞんでかすしべちゃんしすまパパチャでりりいきらじゅりせとぼれせりでかすきしごろわりいきらじゅりでとばだらばかんやまかわどんなかんべなのごちゃけぶしゃしなちろどんとぼれせ
the sequence of training that leads to the attainment of the, the illusory body, when first engages in the meditation or physical isolation, thereafter verbal isolation, thereafter mental isolation, and and dependence on that final uh, successful training of, of mental isolation, one attains the illusory body. Massonanga <laughs> Looking at the first two lines in the Tibetan, which for, for us in the translation is the, the final two lines. Arising from placing your feet, my protector, in the central channel at the very center of my eight-petaled heart. So here, this, um, this re reference is made to channels. So in our body, we have many channels, but it's referring here to the primary three, and of those three, the central channel. And not only do we have many channels in our body, but the, there are also uh, several um, uh, channel wheels, um, or, ch or chakras, channel wheels in English? In, in English? Yeah, channel wheels or chakras in, in Sanskrit, and of which there are five uh, on the crown, at our throat, at our heart, at our navel, and at the, the secret place, the sexual organ. So here we're referring to the central channel, or the, uh, which is one of the primary three channels, with one on either side. <laughs> Ningi in the, the first line, for us, the final line refers to eight petals. This is referring to the shape of the uh, channel wheel at our heart, that it has these eight, uh, they poetically referred to as, as, um, uh, as petals, but these uh, eight branches, perhaps one can say. And at their heart, at, or at the very middle of this chakra, abides our subtlest mind. The subtlest mind during our life, it um, doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't, uh, perhaps you can say, manifest. It doesn't do anything. The Karajan legally to go Mars and then Kigi, so Uma Gima gets at El Malung to go, Manganzuki, that they have Lung to go, Manganzuki. Just on the Madova Karas and the Pajogi, Roma, that Yama said Nidigi, Kotsahori, Damsha, Damsha, the Kot Lung to go, Marichi. 
这是他的人嘛,龙族国的,龙族一节,龙族一节,龙族一节,龙族一节,龙族一节,龙族一节,龙族一节,龙族一节,龙族一节,龙族一节,龙族一节,龙族一节,龙族一节,龙族一节,
going to then just explain the wording, but it comes out as, as we have translated the first line, an essential channel at the very center of my eight-petaled heart. Then to the second line, which for us is the third, arising from placing your feet, my protector. Um, yeah, that's, that's okay. So there are different ways that one can understand the second line, arising from placing your feet, uh, my protector. One way to understand it is to see one's uh, lama, a yidam, and one's subtlest of minds as being indivisible and at the very center of our heart chakra. I am Denise Yom, the Dark Gonje, Sadi, Mansu, Sem Tamo, the Nigi, Missy Piggy, Tilly, Sadi, Nan, you can use some Tamoti, Na, or Dain, you go Sangin, as you say, so Kuin Tamjik, you go, Marco Vares, Kuin Tamjik, and Jav, Marco Bachi, the Chadures, Kurong, Mui, Chisanta Gonje, Shah Sensitor, Don Dambigi, Kuin Tamjet, and Javik, Sem, Sem, the Chichito, Sem, the Sam Died, the Teleco region. Ranshinji <laughs> And the second way to understand this, this line is, is that, so not, not the way that has been presented before, which was very close to the words, but actually what is uh, abiding at the, the, uh, the very center of one's, uh, uh, the, the very center of one's, uh, the, of the chakra at one's, uh, of one's central channel, at the heart of one's central channel, is one's um, innate mind, which is ultimately free of all stains, free of all faults, just like the um, essence of the mind of a Buddha. That is what is uh, abiding at the center of the um, heart chakra. So that then is a second way to understand this second line arising from placing your feet, my protector. So that line has the, the alternative meaning as referring to our um, subtlest mind, which is uh, ultimately free of all fault and, and is thereby the same as the essence of the mind of a Buddha. And that is what's abiding at the center of our heart chakra. Then Tell 
so earlier, I mentioned, earlier I mentioned the six stages um, of, of, of the completion stage. So one starts with physical isolation, verbal isolation, and thereafter mental isolation. So these are, uh, are trained in sequentially, and they cause the uh, winds to, to enter and uh, travel and abide within the central channel through loosening of the knots. And when one comes to realize mental isolation, <coughs> which is the third of the st six stages, then one can now finally, through the power of one's meditation, make use of or utilize or uh, yeah, use, uh, utilize this subtlest of mind. So here, this is um, the, through having been successful in training in mental isolation. Now one is able to uh, activate or make use of the, this subtlest mind that abides within our, the uh, very center of our heart chakra. And one will utilize this mind to, uh, in order to, for, uh, one will utilize this mind as the mind, as the wisdom, that realizes emptiness. So with the most subtle of minds, one realizes emptiness. And when one realizes emptiness with this mind, initially, it is by means of a meaning generality. And when one realizes emptiness by means of a meaning generality, or so having fulfilled the third of the six stages, that of mental isolation, one utilizes this mind to realize emptiness. The subtlest mind now that is realizing emptiness is, the mind of, is a mind of clear light. So this we also see in, in, in the text, we have the term there, clear light. The clear light, uh, that is the mind of clear light, there are two uh, different, ty there are different types. The um, example clear light, and the meaning clear light. Here, it's referring to the first of those two, the example clear light. And the example clear light is the subtlest of minds realizing emptiness, but by means of a meaning generality, so not directly. So therefore, yeah, one has now given rise, following mental isolation, the meaning, uh, the, okay, the example clear light, the example clear light, and that is realizing emptiness by means of a meaning generality. So as translator, I didn't say that so clearly, so I'll just repeat it and hopefully clearer this time. So of these six stages, we're talking about the third one, that of mental isolation. With mental isolation, one is now able to utilize the subtlest of minds, and one utilizes 
the subtlest of minds to realize emptiness, and it will be so via a meaning generality. And when emptiness is realized by the subtlest of minds, it is the example clear light, and, it's, and it can be called the completed or perfected mental isolation, um, or it can be called the example clear light. And this is a wisdom inferentially, inferentially realizing emptiness, and this particular wisdom is not a coarse consciousness, but the subtlest of minds. And amongst the, and what wasn't so clear from how I said it, expressed it earlier, amongst the six stages of, um, of completion stage practice, this is still on the third, that of mental isolation. Now, then, Nga Nuximtamodi, Earlier I mentioned that there are two ways for the, the winds to enter into the central channel through meditation or at the time of death. So in the sutra presentation, at the time of death, then this, the subtle mind of death uh, appears. So that would be due to just the power of karma that's led now to one's life ending, and this mind appears. But it does nothing. It doesn't perform any function. Here, this is being, uh, in the presentation of Haise Yoga Tantra, this is referring to a skilled meditator, an advanced yogin, who through the power of their meditation has been able to uh, complete the training in mental isolation. And in this way, they access this subtle, what, with what is equivalent to the subtle mind of death, the subtlest of minds. And with that mind, and only uh, through the, this practice of the, the yogan's meditation are they able to utilize this subtlest of minds to realize emptiness. And then this then is called the um, example clear light of the completed or perfected mental isolation. And it's used to realize emptiness inferentially or, or via a, a, a meaning generality. So this happens through meditation. Nanga <laughs> Mada Dinashin, 
to talk a little bit further then about the sutra presentation of what happens to ordinary people at the time of death is that at the time of death this um, subtlest mind it, it uh, arises, appears, manifests but it doesn't do anything um, unlike the tantric yogin who utilizes it in meditation by, by, by intentionally generating it in meditation or accessing it in meditation and utilizing it to realize emptiness at the, uh, with the, the subtlest of minds. But at the time of death for an ordering person, the subtlest of mind then goes on to the bardo. It, ac- it accomplishes the, the bardo state, arises as the bardo being or the being in the intermediate state. So that's what happens for ordinary beings at the, at the time of death. They die and their subtlest of mind uh, accomplishes the, the intermediate state, arises as the bardo, uh, a being in the bardo. For the yogin, who's not at the time of death, they are meditating. So they have uh, caused the, the winds to enter and abide and the uh, knots to, to loosen and now have um, uh, Access, or you are able to utilize this subtlest of minds, and they utilize it to realize emptiness inferentially. And then this is the um, example clear light. And thereafter, what happens to the example, uh, the example clear light of the completed mental isolation is that the illusory body is accomplished. So not the bardo state, like or the intermediate state, like an ordinary person when they die, who accomplishes the, the, the form or the, the body of a bardo being. Here, rather, the meditator achieves the illusory body. And just like we heard with the clear light, the mind of clear light, there are different types, that of the example clear light and the meaning clear light, and we've that, thus far spoken about the example clear light, the illusory body also has two types. And the illusory body that is achieved here is the impure illusory body. The other type is the pure illusory body. The impure illusory body which is achieved is the the illusory body that has been achieved um, in dependence on the uh, training in the mental, mental isolation and the generation of the example clear light. But the afflictions have not been abandoned because emptiness has only been inferentially realized. So therefore, the illusory body that's attained is the impure illusory body, which is the illusory body of a yogin who has not yet abandoned the afflictions. Mm. <laughs> Yangya,那个,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,
但俺这些的他经常有些些的了比如是对于是开发车或者是有些些的你鼓励的了要打比鼓励的嘛打比鼓励你有些些的但你开发车些或者把这些结果的但但他经常这个有些些的这些的比如说是嘛打比鼓励
because the afflictions had not been abandoned. But now, with the meaning clear light, which is the wisdom, the subtlest mind, the wisdom which is the subtlest of minds, realizing emptiness directly, the afflictions together with their seeds are abandoned. And now the, the, the yogin attains the pure illusory body. And they are also an arhat or a foe destroyer because the afflictions together with their seeds have been abandoned. So with, so we, again, if we bear in mind those six levels of the of completion stage, here we're looking at those of illusory body and clear light. Prior, through generating the, um, the example clear light, one attains the impure illusory body. Now, through the meaning clear light, one attains the pure illusory body. And this is where one is also attains the state of an arat or a foe destroyer, or the same level as. To match that then with the six-fold presentation, physical isolation, verbal isolation, mental isolation. So within mental isolation, quite a lot is, is included there. So one activates the, or gains access to, utilize, is able to utilize the subtlest of minds. One, um, and, then the, the, and then realizes emptiness inferentially with the completed, um, the completed or perfected mental isolation. And this mind is all, can also be called the example clear light. And this gives rise to the impure illusory body. All of that is within the third of the six levels. So within the mental isolation is also the example clear light, the mind of example clear light, and the impure illusory body. Thereafter, when emptiness is realized directly, then one uh, 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 realizes it with the subtlest of minds, and it is called the meaning clear light. This then is the, the fourth level uh, of clear light. So when, when it, of the six levels, so earlier I said the clear light was fifth, it should uh, rather be counted as fourth. So the clear light is, is the fourth, and it refers specifically to the meaning clear light, the subtlest of mind, that wisdom, which directly realizes emptiness. And it leads to then the fifth of the six, six levels, that of the um, illusory body. And here with the, illusory, the fifth level, it refers specifically to the pure illusory body, which is what comes from the meaning clear light. So it's when emptiness has been directly realized and the afflictions together with the seeds have been eradicated. So this is where we are in the progress of the six stages. All that remains is the sixth, that of union. To <laughs> When the yogin once again enters meditative equipoise, they will then attain the sixth level, that of union. So in both translations, the old or the new, so whether you got the blue book or or this book, um, the, uh, the 
translator uses the term uniting. So whilst this is correct, it should really rather be clear light, illusory body, and union, because it's you having explicitly mentioned these the, the, the fourth, fifth, and sixth level of clear light, illusory body, uh, or meaning clear light, and the illusory body referring to the pure illusory body, and then the sixth level, that of union. Although the meaning of union is the, the coming to the um, the union of the clear light and illusory body. So what happens in the meditative equipoise that follows the direct realization of emptiness with the subtlest of minds, so therefore the attainment of the meaning clear light and the pure illusory body, is that in the following meditative equipoise, those two, the, um, the pure illusory body and the meaning clear light, become indivisible. So the consciousness and the, the, the body, the form, become indivisible. And that then is the meaning of union, because union refers to two coming together. And the two that come together are clear light and illusory body. Mm. So then, perhaps a clearer way to translate what in English is the second line, it would be the paths of the, clear, of the illusory body, clear light, and union. That would be the clearest way to say it, although what is, is there isn't mistaken, but the final three stages of the completion stage are individually listed. So the paths of the clear light, illusory body, and union. Uh, and then the final line in the Tibetan, which we have as the first, uh, please bless me to realize in this life, or in the newer translation, actualize. So the word is actually for actualize or manifest. So we're asking to be for blessings that we may manifest in this life the, um, the, the, the parts of the illusory body, clear light, and union. This then is a very, very brief presentation of the six stages, uh, the six um, stages of the completion stage. And when in the, the life that the yogin um, uh, attains mental isolation, the third of the six, six, in that life, they will attain Buddhahood. They will attain Buddhahood. <laughs> Nyamnejasi 
Shukcha Moro Shewa. Tantra is, is renowned for being incredibly fast. So an actual practitioner of Tantra can attain enlightenment so much more quickly. And this is because not because not, this is not because there is any difference to the emptiness that is realized. What differs between the tantric method and the sutra method is the subtlety, uh, the, the, the subtleness of the consciousness that can be uh, utilized to realize emptiness. So as we heard in this brief presentation, through training, through first physical isolation, verbal isolation, and mental isolation, causing the winds to enter and, and travel within the central channel through, and causing the knots to, to loosen, the yogin is able to actualize in meditation this subtlest of minds. Though this presentation does not exist in, this, in, in sutra. Therefore, in the sutra presentation, the subtlest of minds cannot be actualized, uh, uh, cannot be utilized. And not only through the, the tantric practice can this mind be actualized, or utilized rather, but it can be then utilized to realize emptiness. So when emptiness is realized by this subtlest of minds, the emptiness that is realized, the object emptiness, does not differ from what the yogins on the sutra paths realize. The object emptiness, this doesn't vary, doesn't differ in terms of subtleness, but it's the realizing consciousness. This, realize, uh, this differs vastly. And the benefits, the great benefits uh, of, the, of realizing emptiness with this incredibly subtle consciousness is that the realization is incredibly powerful. And hence, the tantric path is so much quicker because of the power that comes from realizing emptiness with this most subtle of consciousnesses. Na Tonight, then, we've looked very briefly at the uh, completion stage, and last, last week, at, very briefly, at the generation stage. So this, um, in the Gluck presentation, is how one comes to attain a Buddhahood in the fastest way possible. So the generation stage has uh, varying level, levels of subtlety, a coarse, a middling, and a subtlest level. The completion stage has these six levels, which can be condensed into five or into four. <coughs> And to re repeat the, the six-fold presentation, physical isolation, verbal isolation, mental isolation, clear light, illusory body, and union. Do 
Tango, Lamatilia, and These parts, or that the sequence of training to engage in, starts with relying well on one's Lama, hearing teachings and reflecting on them, and meditating on them. In particular, establishing the foundation of definite emergence, bodhicitta, and the wisdom realizing emptiness. And having cultivated these well within, then one from one's Lama receives an initiation, and with that one will receive uh, samayas and vows, as we covered last week. And one guards those samayas and vows well. And within the, this, uh, this uh, um, guarding of samayas, we'll, this, this refers to follow, uh, in putting into practice the spiritual advice one uh, lama gives one. So what should be meditated on, how to meditate on it, and so forth. So this is uh, the meaning of guarding one's samayas well. And in this way, one will progress through one's levels of training. So some will, will do so by relying on many deities, some will do so by re relying on just, just a few, or even just one, such as Gyosamaja, Yamantaka, or Ruka. In this way, one trains in the varying levels of subtlety of the generation stage, and continuing throughout this process, hearing, reflecting, meditating, uh, as well as um, uh, following the spiritual instructions from one's lama, in other words, guarding one's samayas and vows, one will then come to accomplish the varying stages, uh, levels of the generation stage, and thereafter, the completion <coughs> stage. And this is the method or the technique for attaining enlightenment for all of us. <laughs> Chasanjokomatai ジダネチケットスコンプローラーで始まるわけにゃんねんにとねチリンバティネティのようなせいでがさはこばさんにでべやほろわだじゃあねにげそしにゃんねんちとなやまとべねてねにすろしこなんがでねにゃんねんちで
and so whether one is, is able to actually engage in uh, generational completion stage uh, trainings right now, never the, uh, whether one can or not right now, to have gained these imprints, this is very, very precious. So then thank you, and we'll conclude there for, for this week. Thank you so much. Simple. Just one quick question. Um, I think um, that last stage, number six, the union, the individual union, um, that's a regime and a non loan regime. Non loan regime. Yeah, this is a non, non, uh, 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 that stage of union, does it refer to non learners union? Okay. <laughs> Um, it refers to that of the, the uh, training union, not the, uh, uh, no, not the non-training union. Non-training union refers to Buddhahood, so this uh, refers to the union uh, prior to that, the, the training union. Yeah. Yeah. So both the training and non-training union is included within the, the, the sixth uh, level, that of union, but, but the presentation I gave tonight which was just that of the uh, training union. Okay, and, and just to say as an aside, the word for training or um, learning the abbreviation for both is the same, hence there are these different translations. Path of no more training, path of no more learning. Okay. Thank you.